today how you can unlock the gate on your workstat to get those fat saturated sounds. Bernie Dernheim, artist, rapper, yogi, and anarcho syndicalist witch doctor, back with you, talking synthesizers again. Today, today we're talking about the workstat. Uh, particularly, we're going to talk about the gate on the workstat. We're going to talk about unlocking the gate on the workstat uh, because it does things that you may not know about, and it's really worth going into here in this video delving into the gate because the gate on the workstat can unlock for you the wondrous realms of saturation and drive these are indeed wondrous realms as you will be hearing momentarily so in order for that to happen we need to flip over to the overhead view and here we are I've got a patch happening. It's a larger patch and it's a larger setup that I have discussed in another video. That is the one that is titled the best setup for the Moog Workstat 01. This is part of that setup, right? But here I'm doing something a little bit different. In that previous video, I had my envelope signal coming out of this box over here running directly into the gate and also into the VCA. Here what I've done is I've put an attenuator between the envelope and both the VCA and the gate. This is for the purposes of demonstrating exactly what I'm talking about when I say let's unlock the gate on the workstat. Now, okay, let's let's so so let's just first of all, let's just hear the envelope running straight into the VCA, nothing going into the gate. I've turned the volume down on this attenuator. So we've got nothing going into the gate. I'm going to turn the volume all the way up on this one that's running into the VCA and let's hear it. Okay, so the, the, um, the envelope characteristics that you're hearing there are all coming from this external envelope generator going straight into the VCA. Now, let's see what happens when we gradually bring up the gate. Okay, you can see where 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 I don't know, maybe we're like at about what is that? That's 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 like nine, almost ten o'clock, and we're starting to hear the gate now this is a curious thing this is a curious thing that we're starting to hear the gate even though i've only partially turned up the attenuator and the fact that i have it running through the attenuator should have been a clue to those of you who are in the know because one might expect this being a gate that it's an on or off situation where you simply have five volts or you have zero volts, the gate is simply triggered or it is not triggered. But if you thought that about the workstat gate, you would have been mistaken because in fact, we can just tickle the gate with a little bit of voltage and we get a little bit of, a little bit of extra out of it. So what it's doing, and one of the things that you're hearing is that that gate is is tickling also the associated envelope mods that I've got applied here. They are going through the envelope, coming from the envelope generator. So we've got the gate uh, slightly altering the VCF through the envelope generator. You can see a small amount of mod happening there. And also, We've got a VCO mod, and that is the pulse width modulation is also being triggered, and those are being triggered in relation to this envelope here, the attack and decay characteristics that have been programmed into this envelope here. 
and you're just starting to hear that coming through now. So let, let's see what happens as we turn it up. Okay, so now we're at 12 o'clock and it's really starting to come through because the, because the gate is also triggering the VCA. So we've got voltage going into the VCA input, but the gate is also doing its thing on the VCA and those voltages together are adding now and we're starting to get a little bit of saturation of the VCA. Let's see what happens when we crank it up a little bit more. Ooh. Crank it all the way up. Okay. Okay. Now, 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 now it's now it's sounding quite fat. Yes, indeed. So the thing is because both the gate and the VCA can be attenuated in this way, we have another tone shaping mechanism for the Moog Workstat. One that goes beyond the tone shaping that is available through the filter, through the pulse width modulation, through the LFO and its two destinations. We have this tone shaping that we can do by running the envelope signal through an attenuator into the gate, running that same signal through an attenuator into the VCA. Suddenly, we can shape the tone with some saturation. So, if I back this off, You'll notice when I back off the VCA that the saturation reduces more gradually than it does when I back off the gate. That's partly because the gate is doing some mods to the filter and, 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 and so on. So if we turn down the mods that are happening with the gate, uh, we turn down also, I've got a little bit of, bit of voltage going into the filter here. So now we'll hear just the pure saturation. That is the pure saturation. And what we should be doing here, what we should be comparing this to, is what happens when we play the keyboard here. See, this is what, this is, this is as much as you can drive the VCA if you simply play the workstack keyboard. And when we have this setup where we've got the envelope and the envelope going into the VCA and the gate, then we can drive it this much. That's the whole video really. How you can unlock the gate on your workstat to get those fat saturated sounds. It works particularly well with bass sounds. Higher frequencies you won't notice as much an effect. Uh, but with the bass sounds you'll get that really nice fat saturated sound. and. It's a tip for all Workstat users. You, I hear I'm using an external envelope. You may be able to find a way to make this work without an external envelope. If you can, perhaps you can drop that suggestion in the comments. It's, um, it's, a, it's a great little thing once you realize that you can feed voltages into the gate and the VCA and get this beautiful saturated sound. Bernie Dernheim for the Soundside Academy signing off. See you next time.